Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from My Repair Autos. Today I'm going to show you how to fix, replace, troubleshoot ABS lights, ABS sensor issues on your vehicle. Question from a viewer saying, hey, I'm having ABS issues on my Mercedes. The ABS light is on, the wheels are doing weird things when I drive. So stay with me. I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as you finish watching this video, be sure to check out my other videos on this channel. I have tons of videos that will show you how to do every and any little thing you need to get done on your Mercedes cheaply and effectively. And be sure to subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Once you've subscribed, be sure to click on that bell so that you get notified every single time I release a video, two to three times a month. All right, I'm gonna show you how to use two different tools to find out which ABS sensor is bad. First one we're gonna use is the iCarSoft OBD port scanner. This one will tell you exactly which wheel it is. And then if you don't have a high-end scanner, I'm gonna show you how to use a trusty old cheap on a $20 voltmeter. This method is more intensive. It requires that you check each wheel. This one shows you exactly which wheel. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scanner and plug it into the OBD port. Put your key to position two. So I'm gonna go ahead and say diagnose. I'm gonna choose a diagnose by saying okay. Ben, say okay. I'm gonna choose 164M class, say okay. Gasoline engine, say okay. Left hand steering, say okay. I'm gonna choose the uh, 164 ML 350. Formatics, say okay. Automatic. And I'm gonna go down to ESP, which is electronic stability. I'm gonna say okay. Read fault memory. And it says the supply voltage of the control unit is too low. Scrolling through. Right rear speed sensor. They said carry out a visual inspection. So it's telling it's the rear right speed sensor. Implausible values from the RPM sensors. Rear axle. Test the wiring and plug connection. And it's giving you an overview of where, what, why, and how using the iCar Soft Scanner. Very handy tool. I'll do a review on this shortly. If you're going to be using the voltmeter to check the ABS sensors, you're going to have to check each wheel one at a time. If you're not using the voltmeter method, please skip this section and go to 4 minutes and 57 seconds in the video. So taking the ABS electrical connection to the ABS sensor, you are unplug it little clip right here just unplug that pull that out this piece goes to the car this is the sensor holding on to the piece that goes to the car you're going to take your voltmeter and put it to volts dc and there are two plugs right here your ignition has to be on and you're gonna you're gonna put each pin inside here and i'll get a very low voltage coming from that indicating that that connection is good now the real test for your sensor you take the other end and there are two pins inside it you're going to change the voltmeter reading from volts dc to volts ac once your volts setting is ac you will then connect each of these probes to each of these pins and it might be easier as a matter of fact it is easier to use alligator clip ends so you can connect it and keep it connected onto this interface because you're going to need to have two hands if you don't have those you can hold it in place like so hold each in place move out of the way because you're going to need someone a third person to then spin this whole uh, rotor it's connected to the axle Everything has to be in neutral. You're gonna spin this around. And when you spin this around with the electrical connections hooked up to the sensor, your voltmeter is gonna indicate low voltage. That indicates that the sensor, which is basically a magnetic reader, is picking up the other side of the, uh, the axle. It has a little metallic fitting that will, when it spins, it's like a generator, creates voltage, which sends it back to the computer, the computer interprets that signal and it's able to detect how fast the wheel is spinning, whether or not the wheel is skidding or spinning slower or faster than the other four wheels. You're gonna have to check each and every sensor on the car, there are four of them, using this method. If you're getting voltage from the, this guy, then you gotta reconnect it and go to the next wheel. Do this until you found the bad ABS sensor. That's how you check it using the voltmeter method. Once you've found the bad ABS sensor using a 10 millimeter 
hex socket you'll remove the bolt that's retaining it into the hub remove the 10 millimeter hex bolt from the hub and pay close attention not to break the sensor remove it from the hub it's stuck in there real good so you'll have to work it out and be patient while doing so next remove the ABS sensor connection from the main line and uh, get your new ABS sensor and start by putting it into the hub just like you did when you were removing the old one you reverse your steps very important that you bring this around through here and on this little notch and then connect it one thing to keep in mind once you've corrected the problem by replacing the bad sensor there is no need to turn off the ABS light on your cluster the computer will detect the correct voltage and it will turn off the light on its own as always everyone don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful what that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.